What does a good warm up look like? Five minutes is a very sufficient number. Perhaps 10 if you're achy, you really got to get the ankle warmed up if you're doing lower body stuff. The hips and knees will follow. Upper body stuff really good. The shoulder blades and the elbows will follow after that. We tend to prefer dynamic warm ups. So this is whole body movements rather than like sitting and stretching, like your high knees and your butt kickers and just different things like that, where you're moving in different planes, and you're moving joints through tons of range of motion. You need to differentiate if you're training for speed, power, strength, or hypertrophy. For example, if your warm up is so extensive in the hypertrophy training that it compromises your training volume because of fatigue, then you're actually probably walking yourself backwards. Strength and power is the opposite. There's no point in starting a working set until you're basically at 100%. So the warm-up should be as long as it takes you to really feel peak power. Anything before that is a warm-up. It's very important that your first exercise of the day is generally the thing you prioritize. It oftentimes is also the most complex, so it tends to be multi-joint. So let's say your first exercise was a front squat, and now you're going to move into a pull-up, and so you really need to do some more specific activation warm-ups for that. You don't need to re-warm up for every single exercise. The same muscles that you're going to use in the next exercise are warm, same joints, then you're good to go.